Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Basically we've done a lot of Be Quiet uh, well in the last couple of months and today we're going to talk about uh, another Be Quiet uh, CPU air cooler which is Pure Rock 2. The DDP is 150 watts. What are other details? The height, fans, everything else? We'll find out soon. Let's go! Okay, so you heard at the beginning of the video that the TDP for the Pure Rock 2 from Be Quiet is 150 watts. Now the height of the cooler is 155 millimeters, which can basically fit any ATX case and most likely some uh, micro ATX cases as well. So this uh, gives, uh, let's say, an opportunity for everyone that needs a smaller size on the height. Uh, to choose the Pure Rock 2, but we'll get to that part later on when we test the thermals. But first, let's go with the unboxing and check what we got in the box contents. So, the housing and the heatsink is aluminium. You have four copper pipes going through the whole uh, aluminium heatsink down to the base, which you have a pre applied thermal paste, which is in a different color than usual gray, it's completely white. So that's why you get also the cover for the block. The rest is here we have the accessory box. We have one, this is Pure Wings 2 120 millimeter fan, which you already know they're really quiet and really effective. Loads of papers and this is the manual. So we have here, this is not important basically in the uh, instructions uh, or let's say manual of some sort you have the scope of delivery which uh, basically says everything that is placed inside uh, accessory box you have uh, instructions on how to place everything so for the 2011 and 2066 uh, sockets uh, standard intel gaming sockets so 10505 one and five five and of course the am3 plus and am4 as well so this is really handy for you guys if you are not sure how to place everything this is how you can manage and here we have so you can basically add another fan so you get uh, another pure wings 2 fan and you have two additional brackets holders for your fans which you can attach that same fan to uh, the heatsink and get basically a push-pull combination or more air through the heatsink which is really nice. In the plastic bag you get loads of accessories that's for sure. I mean these are necessary accessories I would say. So the locking mechanism, two locking screws, you get the Intel brackets with locking nuts and you get the AMD brackets. Uh, for the Intel you have two separate locking nuts, one are for the extreme processors for the 2011 or 2066 and one are for 1150X, whatever, so 51, 50 or 55, doesn't matter, you can place it with these. And in the other plastic bag you have the AMD socket. So basically all in all today we're going to run the Be Quiet Pure Rock uh, 2 on the Intel Core i7-10700K since it does say its TDP is 150 watts. Let's check out how it cools the 10700K in a micro ATX case. It's a bit different situation than usual because usually I do with the ATX cases which have a decent airflow which can definitely uh, make difference in cooling and the thermals later on but 
let's place it inside the case, do some thermals, test benchmarks and whatever. Uh, basically, I don't think we need to test anything when it comes to noise because even the name says be quiet. So guys, let's go. So basically the best way to test out the processor is to go with AIDA64 and get the exact full stress on the CPU. Basically running the AIDA64 with CPU benchmark, uh, the stress test uh, stability, well the stability stress test. And when I used the CPU, FPU, cache memory and the fourth one was uh, something else, uh, including the CPU. Uh, the temperature actually went to 81. But when I placed only the CPU stress test, the temperature was uh, going 66 and touching 67. So basically, if you want to run a 10700K and you want a cooler that will cover up the temperature for gaming, Pure Rock 2 will definitely do the job since it won't go and use that much of a process power during the gaming and you won't have any issues with cooling. But if you're going with some other rendering stuff or using it for professional use, then Pure Rock 2 will have a bit of an issue when it comes to cooling the 10700K. Uh, now, as I said, Pure Rock 2 is definitely a suggestion if you're into uh, gaming only, strictly gaming, and if you want to have a bit of a higher CPU, uh, higher end, high end CPU that needs, uh, well, for instance, you spend a lot of cash on your processor but still want a decent cooler for gaming and for your CPU, of course, then you can go with Pure Rock 2. Anything else and above it, it would be uh, a bit too much. Now when it comes to mounting the CPU cooler on the CPU, you have an Intel and the AMD bracket. Basically for the AMD you will use the stock one that you get with the motherboard. For the Intel you place the metal part at the back and place two uh, locking screws at the back with the rubber mountings. After that you place four locking nuts on those locking screws and place two plates that will actually hold the cooler to the motherboard and the final touch is two locking nuts on the uh, horizontal plate that holds the cooler to the mounting. And that's all there is to it. There's nothing really diff uh, different or uh, hard to do for, apart from uh, some other pure, uh, some other be quiet coolers but I would say it's quite all right. So guys, yeah, if you're looking for a nice budget uh, CPU cooler that actually extends to uh, not the higher end processors, but 10700K in gaming is quite all right and definitely will do the job correctly. So guys, yeah, this is it. This was uh, all there is to it about the Pure Rock 2 that I have to say. You can check out the links below if you're interested in buying it and if you like the video, of course, as usual, click the thumbs up button, subscribe for future videos and hope to see you next one. Bye bye.